Hi there everyone, my name is Peter and I welcome you all to this channel. In this video, I'll be talking with you about how we can create an automatic bomb in PTC Creo drawing. So without ado, let's get started. Here, for example, I have already opened our assembly of whom we're going to create a bomb table. Now uh, let's click here on file and click on new. Now I will be going here in drawing. From here, one can select their template. So uh, as of now, I will just choose the size of A3 in landscape. If you already have your own template, as I talked before, you can choose from here. Now, uh, let me just go back and select empty and landscape and standard size as A3. Now let me click OK. Now I will quickly place a general view here. After placing the model, because this is the prerequisite of having a bomb in a sheet, you should have model already in place. Now uh, what we will do, uh, th there are actually two methods of creating bomb inside PTG Creo. One is you can have uh, automatic tables. For example, uh, you can choose these tables and can have a bomb directly there inside. Uh, for example, if I choose this one, or maybe this one I can simply choose it and place it in this way you know you can uh, create a bomb in just one click now let's say you want to edit it here we have got all the features available let's say you want to change the font of it you can do that uh, let's say you want to edit the width of a column you can do that just by selecting it and then here you can click and then from here you can change the width now uh, I believe the quantity width is good enough. I need to change the width of part number. So I will select the part number and now here let me make it 3.5. We can see preview before even clicking on OK so that at least we will have a time to reset it. We also have this warp text available which was not there in previous version. I didn't saw it or maybe I didn't notice it. So I will click on this and now here you can see uh, we have wrapped the text and then uh, we again require to uh, you know increase the height of these rows. So instead of doing that I would prefer here to uh, increase the width of it a slight more. So let me make it 4. Okay so everything is fit and fine. Now uh, what I can do actually I can also reduce the height of this one. So in this way you know you can select um, other column and now here um, I would like to make it three and a half. So in this way you know you can make some changes select font and do things. Now uh, I will show you the another method uh, which is how we can create a custom bomb table based on our need. So I will quickly delete it the already created one okay oh, I'm trying to delete it I don't know why this is uh, okay fine I deleted it finally mm, now um, here in order to create a manual table or customizable one you again need to go to same table tab and now I will choose here table now I will try to insert the number of column that I want. Okay. Now on the top column, you can write the headers. For example, here you want to write serial number. And column two header, I would like to write part name. Now uh, let's say I want to show the indentation level uh, of the part in BOM. So let's say I will write the BOM label. I would also want to know the type of component it is, whether it is a sub-assembly or assembly. So I will just type the part type. And at the last I would like to know the quantity. So so I will type quantity here. Now time now came to uh, convert these uh, second row 
to reason for that uh, we will go to table and here we have this option which is repeat reason just click on it now we need to create reason so i will select add now i will select simple or even you can select 2d but in this case simple is good enough now here you can see we need to locate the corners of the reason so i will click here now i will pick the another table cell which is this last one okay so it's done now i will click on done now you need to make a double click here and now uh, here we need serial number therefore i will go to report and i will click here on index second one is part name so i will make a double click we'll go to assembly and then member and then here name similarly in bom label let's make a double click go to report and here we have got label in part type let's make a double click go to assembly member and here we will choose type i think so this is yeah in quantity mm, uh, we will go back to report and quantity let's say you also want to add material so here we have got this material property also available so like right now i will just choose this uh, quantity only and let me quickly show you from where actually these parameters get their value from okay so here we have chosen this file here we already have applied some few properties so we can see i have already applied material so in this way you know these uh, values are driven from the model itself and as we know guys in creo parametric everything is driven by model so everything is model centric okay so whether it is a drawing or assembly everything is model centric so this is uh, one of the very basic uh, creo feature now what i will do oh, i would like to change the font okay so i have selected the entire table now i will go here and we'll choose this one this one look pretty nice actually yep now uh, let's click here on update table and uh, within a click here you can see we have filled the entire table now again i would like to uh, increase the width but for this case i would like to increase width of all um, all column because i really don't want to take you a lot of time uh, in these uh, tribal issues in adjustment okay so uh, here we go back and height and width let's make it five or maybe three okay let's make it four Oh my god still let's make it four and a half okay that's good enough now uh let me just reduce these three not like that let's click here and press control in this way we can select individual columns now again height and weight and let me make it 1.5 yeah and the last one the first one also let's make it one okay now this table look quite nice you know you can even apply some formatting just by selecting any row you know so let's change this to some other font extra bold in this way you know you can differentiate the table headers and the component now here we can see um, we have arranged this uh, table uh, in a certain form but let's say i also want to add a uh, part what is there inside this assembly because here we can see we are in a first level of bom which we can see here on the model tree now let's say i want to also show the sub assembly parts for that uh, what we can do uh, we have so many options available actually guys so let me just select this table and now again i will go back here mm, in table back yeah and to repeat reason let's click here and now um, let's go to attributes 
now select this now here we have got few more option for example i don't want uh, I, I want to show this quantity and right now it is not showing because um, it is by default one as we can see here as well i don't want to see duplicate per level and i want to show recursive let's click on done and here guys we can see we also have expanded the sub assembly and the parts involved and here guys you can even see the bomb level so based on our need or we can play with these settings which is available here if we want to fix index we can do this uh, with the help of this just we need to select a reason and we need to select the record for example this one i want to make it five i simply can select it and I manually can place it okay now let me just click done and here we go there are various other options available uh, if you have any doubt regarding this bomb table then do let me know in comment down below also the last thing that I wanted to mention that you can even save this uh, drawing table for later uses okay let me just quickly show you how you can let's select the whole table now i will click here on the option which is save table now on desktop i'm going to save it let's give it a name uh, machine for example now i will close it and let's close this entire thing okay and i will also perform this it is not displayed now let's go back new drawing if you want to give it a name you can let me uh, select a3 and here general view okay now instead of creating all these things again i can simply go to table from file and now this time i will choose this table file that i have saved before and i will click on open and in this quick way we can create the entire bomb and it's not like that that this bomb is applicable here only or, or this bomb table is applicable here only it's nothing like that let me just close it and i will this time open another assembly okay okay now let me open this one if this exists okay so this one is a full blown demo model uh now uh let, let me just click here on file new drawing and again empty a3 master representation and uh, i'm just placing it just like that you know just i want to show you the table from file feature okay now again i will choose the same table click on open and here we go guys how easy now it became to create the whole table and uh, the good thing is we are also not losing the formatting or the customization that we have set with this boom table that's all from my side in this one i hope guys you find this video helpful if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then bye bye